I was in college and I was trying to escape from how I really felt inside by like, I was, um, felt really empty, nothing would satisfy me, um, I felt lonely, um, so before I became a Christian, I would try to fill that void by, um, drinking and partying, watching like YouTube, um, like my favorite like people on YouTube like for hours and like binge watch Netflix um, and uh, yeah none of those were satisfying me because they were all very shallow and they evaporated like dew in the morning so it was never like gonna satisfy me um, and after I after I found God I realized he was the only thing that could satisfy that void and emptiness but even after I was a Christian uh, I realized that this problem was like an onion. It was like, um, onions have a lot of layers. So this problem wasn't just gonna be like zapped and gone. God is powerful and he could definitely just zap that and it would be gone, but God felt like it would be better for me to work with it in layers. Um, so he pulled it back after I was a Christian. He pulled back another layer and he showed me that I was still doing this escapism by, um, just I was still watching a lot of Netflix. I was at work one day and I was on break and I remember I like was so excited to get on break because I was going to use my phone and I was going to watch Netflix and it, I realized that I had watched three seasons of a show in like three days or maybe it was like two days or something. A bunch of TV in a short amount of time and God convicted me that I was squandering my time and him saying that made me uncomfortable. Um, I didn't like to feel uncomfortable and that was also played into uh, ignoring my problems was like because dealing with stuff made me feel uncomfortable and I didn't like it um, so I ignored him I ignored that and time went on I was still just watching a lot of YouTube and um, and then God peeled back a layer and showed me how it was selfish what I was doing um, time went on he peeled back a layer and he showed me how that affected my friends around me and my family God was like you could be doing your dishes for your grandma doing service but instead you're gonna selfishly watch Netflix um, and I remember talking to God and I was like it makes me uncomfortable that I have to uh, do this um, and God said that you're uncomfortable well so is Jesus on the cross and Jesus died for you um, Jesus died for you to um, not to have a life in in him and not to sit around and watch Netflix all day long or drink all day long um, that was really convicting and that one really hit me um, so if you want to know more about any of this any of my testimony or maybe more in detail you can email me uh, anytime at katepennington31 at gmail.com